Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's Beer Reviews and this one we're looking at Cronenberg 1664 Cronenberg, so this is from France La Première Beer France <laughs> Yeah, so it's from France Alcohol, 5% volume Premium beer, brewed with a unique aromatic Strassel Spot hops from Alsace Best before, see base of can. The best before is the 30th of the 9th, 22. Let's just get it open. Into a glass. There we go. Looks lovely, looks nice and crisp. Made in the glass. Looks really good, that. Really good. White head, sparkling appearance, light gold appearance, very, very fizzy, nice carbonation, white gold appearance. Ingredients, water, malted barley, glucose, syrup, hops, hop extract. Let's go for the aroma. Strong sweet smell. Bread, white bread. It's like... It's very sweet. It smells very sweet. I can, I can identify that glucose syrup in there. Malt. Yeah. It smells pretty good. Let's go with the taste deal. So cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink. Cronenberg 1664. Cheers. Really cold. I said ice cold by the way. I got this right from the back of the fridge, so it is really cold. Whew. A wee bit of brain freeze there. Light body. Strong sweet. I can taste that, that glucose syrup. I can definitely identify that glucose syrup. Um, I know that. It's like a strong, bitter, sweet taste. Um, that's what glucose syrup is. It's like a strong, sweet taste with a slight bitterness to it. Um, you'll find your glucose syrup in quite a lot of products. Not just beer, you know. You'll find it in quite a lot of other stuff. <coughs> You'll find it in quite a lot of your higher alcoholic lagers as well, glucose syrup. You'll find glucose syrup in your Tenant Super Lager, your Carlsberg Special Brew, you know, roads identified as Super Lagers, you know, glucose syrup is usually involved with them. And I think it's usually just a hide of alcohol. Um. But this isn't a super lager, this is just a normal lager. There we go. 5% alcohol volume, sorry I think I forgot to mention that. 5% alcohol volume on the can there. That's a nice looking beer right there. That is a nice looking beer. It's ice cold. <laughs> Very, very sweet. It's malty to begin with. It's smooth. It, it's smooth and it's malty. Um, you're getting a bit of bitterness in the end. It's, you're getting a, that sweet 
that sticky sweet taste and the bitterness at the same time which is from that glucose syrup which is in there it definitely has a strong sweet taste and I like that, I like that in a beer mm -hmm. I like that taste it's like a strong bittery sweet taste with along with that malt and stuff yeah it's really good and it's also crisp it's also very crisp and refreshing and I find it quite light I find it to have a light body I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's medium or heavy body, I'd say it's quite light. So, um, yeah, it's easy drinking at the same time as, as well. It's, it, it's got high drinkability on it, is what I'm saying. You could easily polish a few of them back. Um, you know, at 5%, that's good as well. Um, yeah, I've got a 10 pack of this in Asda for 11 quid. Um, you know, I like this stuff. I drink it quite sometimes. I drink it when I feel like it. And I felt like it this weekend, so I bought a 10 pack. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to review one. I did do a review, I, I, did, I did do a review in the past with the bottles, but you know, um, I want to do a, re a revisit, a re review. Plus, this is in the can, and do you know what? I prefer beers in the can anyway. I do. I prefer, can, I, I prefer beers in the can for one reason. They're more, they're sealed more. The beer's protected more than a can. Um, because if it's in a bottle, air can get to it more likely than it could in a can. You know, because a can's properly sealed. A, a bottle is properly sealed as well, but I would say a can's more, a, a can of beer is, a can protects the beer more. You know, I would, I would think in my, I would, I would say so anyway. That's what I think, that's what I think, you know. Um, if I'm wrong, then tell me, please. I might be wrong there, but I, I think I think the beer's more protected than a can than the bottle. It just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Smooth, multi-body, um, multi-thin body. And then boom, strong, sweet taste and a strong bitterness. <sighs> yeah, and I've had this on draft. In fact, um, when I was out a few months ago with Anton, I had Cronenberg Ice Cold on draft. Um, yeah, Cronenberg Ice Cold on draft. Now, I don't know if that was brewed in the UK or France. Um, but it was probably brewed in the UK. But um, I would like to try the Cronenberg from France. Definitely. La France Premiere. I like for it. I, I like France. I think I think it's a lovely place. I mean I mean come on. I'm drinking French beer here. Let me have a wee look at that. Eiffel Tower. I love France. So yeah, there's Eiffel Tower there. I should have had that in the back room when I was drinking. I shouldn't have. Cronenberg, 1664 with the eight. See, I'm kinda, I'm kinda in the France kind of zone. <laughs> oh, cheers. So. I think I'm ready to give my final score on this one. Final, <coughs> final score on Cronenberg 1664. Mm. Love that sweet taste. It's so strong on the sweet side. It's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. I like it. I love it. So for that fact... I'm going to give Cronenberg 1664 a 9.3 out of 10. 9.3 out of 10 for Cronenberg 1664. I like it. I like it a lot. <sighs> Much better than your other waggers that you can find around the UK supermarkets. You know, this is 5% and it's like quite a well-known lager here. Like it's been around for donkeys. It's been around for ages. 
Like everybody knows what Cronenberg is. Um, I would go. I would go for this more than I would go for like a tenants or whatever. You know, this is good lager. This is good lager. If you've never had this before, then I highly suggest checking it out. <coughs> the strong sweet side may catch you off guard. Oh, no, I love it, I love it. Strong sweet taste. So yeah. 9.3 out of 10 for Cronenberg, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Love. Happiness. Goodbye.